I'm John Morehouse, Chief Experience Officer for Flight Center Travel Group's Corporate Brands, which include FCM Travel Solutions. Uh, it's a great question, uh, and to be truthful, I don't have a full answer as to exactly how we're going to be using it across the board. Uh, what we released early this week was probably a first iteration of what some of that technology could look like in one of our products. We included it inside a very boring feature of the extension product where you have to actually write some copy and the generative AI is used to kind of go through and generate that for the customer. So a very simple use case that has a lot of benefits for our travel managers that they don't have to go through and do a lot of that manual work. And I think we're going to find and look for a lot more of those simple use cases as a first go at it, but there's a lot bigger data privacy things that we have to work through before we start using it in mass. Yeah, everything that we've looked at so far has always been about having the consultant or the person in the middle uh, because a lot of what we do is provide advice and experiences and while the AI can do a great job of sounding like a person, it's never actually been to Heathrow to know where the, the right place to go is. So while it's early days, we still want to make sure a person is involved with some of those transactions to make sure that we're really putting the highest quality out there and there's a personal touch and flair to how we do it. We feel our people have a lot of value with what they provide and their expertise. Over time, maybe some of the stuff will be a little bit different, but right now that's kind of the approach that we're taking. It's not just our approach, it's the approach the industry is taking. So we've had a bunch of meetings with a lot of big providers and they're doing something very similar. Uh, most of it's done in-house. We've, uh, in the last few years, we've made significant investments, both in increasing the size of our existing teams and acquiring new businesses. So a lot of our technology development and build is done in-house. We still have partners in some spaces, but uh, we've really shifted our momentum to be more building and having to control the whole end-to-end -end experience. Uh, I would expect to see more features that we roll out across the product set that have small little workflows powered and augmented by generative AI. Um, we are uh, working with some of the largest players in the world. So we have a huge relationship with Microsoft. We're starting to work with them very deeply on what they're doing. Had a big meeting yesterday with Salesforce and some of the stuff that we're doing there within the service cloud and sales cloud platforms that we use. So I'd expect there to be a lot more stuff that we'll be doing in the next several months that we'll be releasing. Uh, and we're working with some of the best and the leaders in the industry to go through and do that.